Crane, oh, a crane contestant in a mask disguise won the prize money despite all the lies. <laughs> did Jake not have anything better to do? Also, did he know he was going to get murdered? Like, some of these notes kind of insinuate that he had a premonition. Maybe it's his ghost writing these and putting these up. This is his way of haunting by, by writing little, little cheeky notes and putting them on the bulletin board. Like, do you get it? Do you get it? <laughs> Hi, I'm Connie. You're not from around here, are you? Usually, Paseo del Mar High is really quiet and boring. Lately, it's been totally out of control. She's a valedictorian if I've ever seen one. Out of control? One of the students was killed last week. What happened? I think he was pushed down a flight of stairs or something. What makes you think he was pushed and didn't just fall? I heard his face was all messed up, like he was in a fight. He was always getting into fights. What kind of guy was Jake? Jake Rogers was a total creep. Nobody liked him. I gotta go now. Later. Later, Connie. Got the money! Get the money! <laughs> oh, Tony's Pizza. 555 five, five, Tony! Well, Nancy's gonna order herself some pizza. La Donna Mobile. Qual pul mal vento muta da cento pensier. Oh, it's still going. Ah, <laughs> oh, so no pizza? That's disappointing. And what kind of voicemail message is that? You don't even be like, oh yeah, Tony's pizza. We'll be back later if you want to order a pizza. Got a two for one special at the moment. I gotta make Nancy's phone more aesthetically pleasing. Not that any of these colors are very aesthetically pleasing, but. Mm, I do like the canoeing. Oh, and, oh, that's that's pretty nice. Mm, I was gonna say if I did the yellow to match, but mm. <laughs> oh, why are these colors so offensive to my eyes? <laughs> yellow, I guess. I wish they had more um, game options. Hawaii is probably my favorite of those games. Like, definitely not Castle Malloy. <laughs> <laughs> I want to dry her just at the thought of Castle Malloy. Nancy, you can't go in there. I have a key. Nancy, you can't go in there. <laughs> I actually think that key is for the library. Connie, stop being such a goody two shoes. Live a little. Lemon. Wait. <laughs> uh, put. L M Z. In order to open a puzzle, Th puzzle. Th Wait, what? <laughs> puzzle. <th> what <laughs> do they mean to have the th underlined? <laughs> no matter, no matter. Just say no. Yeah, tell that to the person who robbed the drugstore. Okay, okay, get in there right now. Student files under lock and key will show the lies of the doctor to be. Is Jake flirting with me, leaving me all these sexy little clues? Where's the library? I always get lost in this school. I think part of the reason this game is so eerie is that it's so empty. Like, there's three students just randomly hanging out because they have no life, I guess. <laughs> And that's it. Like, there's there's no one else. Oh! <laughs> that scared me! I was just thinking, my brain was like, except the murderer. The murderer could be here, and then the music kicked up a notch. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Hectanol is a steroid. <gasps> it was one of the drugs stolen at the drug station. Oh, heck! What the hectanol? Insanity of steroid abuse. Yeah, don't do drugs, kids. Just say no. If anything happens to me, seer, search <laughs> under my comb, comb, my comb, under my combin, combin catalog 
Oh, under my com like combination in catalog? And considering how concerned Jake was about something happening to him and like he keeps leaving all these hints around, you think maybe he'd like go to the police and, and say like Hi, I am seriously concerned about my safety right now. You know, maybe his death would never have happened if, in, you know, he'd just done the sensible thing of going and talking to the police instead of leaving cryptic little notes all around his school. Evidence under my seat. It's fun just searching in random things here. Oh, no, no Nancy Drew books in the whole library. Shame on you. Jake was here. Oh, I wonder if this is Jake's seat. Things to remember. Me. Answer to my fate lies in the box. <laughs> Matchbook behind Maxine's schedule holds the first step. My messages hold the remaining 18 steps. The elements tell the order. The letter and digit tell the direction. Got it. Thanks, Jake. Okay, so we got it. I think that's like an end game puzzle from what I remember. And when I was thinking about playing this game for my YouTube channel, it was the puzzle that I was like, oh god, you know, I would like to play this game, but that puzzle? <laughs> it wasn't even the tile puzzle that broke me out in hives. It was that periodic table of elements puzzle. Do I have all 18? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I've only got 13! Oh, darn it. That's done. I thought I had a lot more. That's Let's go back to Maxine's. I have been working hard, and I think it's time to have a little milkshake break. Just gotta do a full 360. 360, no scope. Let's go. I would like some good coffee and a hamburger. I love how he just lets me go in, like Connie, who isn't even part of the faculty gets her hackles up about me going in the teacher's lounge, but old Mr. Albino is totally fine with me just going into the kitchen and taking a knife. Was that a knife? Oh, it's a ladle. <laughs> the things Nancy picks up. Like, does she have some foresight about these things? Like, is she like, oh yeah, I, I definitely will need a ladle in the future. Dear Daryl, I need to break off her date to the Sadie Hawkins dance. I'm very, very sorry. But something suddenly came up. Connie. Oh, he was angry when he crumpled that. Angy. I thought I switched the music last time I was in here. I guess Daryl just really likes <laughs> the audition song. Watch out! God, this- Reading that always creeps me out because I always think I'm gonna turn around and get whacked. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> they get me with this one. Like, it's not even one of the, like, deliberately scary Nancy Drews, but it just- it gets me. Hmm. Looks like something was removed here. I think. Mmm. Check. You. You. Wait. Check. You. You. Huh? Huh? I can get as far as check, but nothing else makes sense. Check your e i. Check your eyes. Oh, check your eyes. Ig hit it. It it might. I don't know, but I've already done that. I've already looked at the eye chart, so you know what? I don't need to decipher that. <laughs> From Jake. Maxine wanted me to write a memo describing the finer points of closing the diner. Some people think there are some secrets to the process, but it couldn't be easier. <laughs> I don't actually work here. I don't need to know that. I don't know what these numbers mean either, but again, I, I, I simply don't have time <laughs> to interpret that right now. Or the brain power. What can I do for you? Do you know Connie Watson? Not that well. She keeps to herself a lot. I've always thought there's something mysterious about her. Kind of the same way I feel about you. Stop it. Stop your flirting. Stop that right now, sir. <laughs> Thanks for the compliment. I'm already seeing someone. Mm. Do we really want to give Ned that honor, though? I don't think so. Do you know why Jake had an empty video cassette case in his locker? Why were you in Jake's locker? I'm writing an article about the murder for the school newspaper. 
Oh. I have no idea. <laughs> he well, likes his different. awkward silences, doesn't he? I think that that pit of counter is clean now, by the way, buddy. You've been wiping it for the past hour. I think it. I think it's good. <laughs> I think it's squeaky clean. Do you know why Connie broke your date to the Sadie Hawkins dance? No, it was really weird. But what was even weirder is that she took Jake instead of me. Like I said, she's mysterious. She's not like other girls. <laughs> what can you tell me about Hal Tanaka? Hal's an exchange student who's all scholarships and study. He's very intense about becoming a doctor. How well do you know Hulk Sanchez? Big guy, big muscles, big dreams. A lot of football scouts have been coming over to watch him play. He must be under a lot of pressure to perform. He's a big boy. Got it. Hi. <laughs> See ya. See ya. Okay, who is SH? Who are my suspects? We've got Daryl, Connie, Hulk. Oh, maybe it's HS, Hulk Sanchez. Mm. Okay, where is the key for the teacher's lounge? It said it is at Aunt Eloise's. Hey, Aunt Smell Louise, where's the key for the teacher's lounge? She can't hear me. She's too busy getting chomped by a gator. Aha! There we go. I had to read. <laughs> Why would I ever do that? But to get in there, we have to distract Connie, because she's a goody goody who thinks I shouldn't break into the teacher's lounge. Oh, we could call 555 Judo. We are currently not seeking any new initiates at this time. We will seek you if you are worthy. Nancy's not the chosen one. Get a jump on education. What a great motivational poster. Up there with hang in there with the little cat. How's it going? Do you know Hal Tanaka? That dude is always studying. He's a huge fan of mine. Real smart guy. But I never understood why a brain like Tanaka would hang out with slime like Jake. <laughs> He's my number one fan. Oh my god, Hulk. Now I see why. You're called Hulk. It's referring to your incredibly inflated ego. Now I get it. Fan? Tanaka never missed a game. That is until he started hanging out with Jake. <laughs> I'm gonna start just Let's like just say I saw pointing like that, gesturing in conversations right <laughs> when I but make they a point. Really friends. Is that what you're saying? Jake didn't really have friends, and how? He may seem pretty chill, but I've seen him crack a couple of times. He's seriously uptight. Crack a couple of times? He's got a temper, a bad one. He lets the pressure build and build until he's wound so tight the slightest thing sets him off. Like last week, I strike him out during gym, and he goes ballistic and charges the mound. He's got some serious issues. Now that I think of it, last time I saw them together, Hal seemed pretty upset. I'm too gay to know what charges the mound means. What can you tell me about Connie Watson? What can you tell me about Connie Watson? She hangs out at the gym a lot. I heard she's been having a real tough time. Tough time? I heard she's been having some money problems. Oh! <laughs> All his gestures are great when he goes like that, when he's like, oh, <laughs> oh Hulk. Never what change. What can you tell me about Daryl Gray? He seems like a cool guy. His family used to sponsor the annual football awards dinner. Have you seen year. my uh, guns? You know, he's the one who found Jake's body. <laughs> you know that's why he's gesturing like that. He's practiced it in the mirror. Tell me about the robbery at the drug station pharmacy. Why would I know about a robbery? All I know about <laughs> is football. Nancy, you wouldn't understand. You haven't known the triumphs and defeats, the epic highs and lows of high school football. <laughs> Do you know why Jake had an empty video cassette case in his locker? I didn't pay much attention to Jake. I'm tired of talking about that loser. Oh my god, you know Hulk is the type of person who would take Ninja's whole it's just a game is such a weak mindset thing seriously. You know he has it on like a motivational poster up in his room, right above his bed. So he looks at it every morning when he wakes up. When you stop getting angry after losing, you've lost twice. I bet he told that to Jake. <laughs> He's like, Jake, stop being such a loser. There's always something to learn and always room for improvement. 
Never settle. You know, if Hulk wasn't so big, he would get beat up for sure. Get Connie over here to fix it. Oh, oopsie. Oh dear. I don't know what happened. I just wanted to have a nice cold can of cool. Oh dear. Oh, Connie. Oh no. Hey, Nancy. So you something? never guess what happened. Someone set off the alarm on the soda machine again. Ugh. Watch the fort while I'm gone. What an awful uh, prankster. Who would do something like that? Oh, she's been drafting little, little notes. Is this crazy? Am I? Connie's having a teenage angst moment. It's okay, Connie. We, we all go through that phase. If this was 2014, she'd be talking about it with her mutuals on Tumblr. You know, Connie would have one of those, like, sports tumblers where they talk about all their favorite, like, hockey players and stuff. Check out this gif of my two favorite hockey players high-fiving. <laughs> Eloise Drew. Oh, wise elder. I love that it's an anagram. I love that. Eloise Drew is my queen. Okay, so maintenance room is note. So where are some of these rooms? Like, where's the stairwell? Where's the video lab? <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, the school has a library, a study room, and that's it. Oh, of course, in the maintenance room. How could I forget in the maintenance room? Someone there? Hello? <laughs> Was that noise? Oh, this is what I mean. This game is such an atmosphere. It just puts you on edge. Okay, so they've got a missing English essays through the ages book. That's a clue. Eloise, we need to find a replacement for Jake Rogers for bulletin board duty because he's been murdered. <laughs> Rest in peace. <laughs> Send me a list of candidates you recommend for this duty. Like, he's so clinical about it. Oh, she. Sorry, Alice. Just like, yeah, Jake Rogers is deceased. <laughs> So we can't do the bolts and board duty anymore. Very disrespectful, if you ask me. Like, you know, he had a job to do. And I don't think being dead is an excuse. Okay, we printed the security report. All outer entrance doors checked and locked. Backpack belonged to Connie Watson, found in student union, placed in lost and found. Several outside security lights are out. Work order submitted. Toolbox from Dylan HVAC service left in boiler room. Left note with maintenance. Patrolled outside grounds on foot. Dumpsters by cafeteria were not properly secured. Several raccoons in the area. <gasps> oh my god, Jake was murdered by a gang of raccoons. Raccoon gang warfare is serious. We need to crack down on it. Bring awareness to raccoon gangs, I say. I've sent several notes to kitchen staff to secure dumpsters. It needs to be addressed. You need more than kitchen staff. You need some, like, security guards to deal with those raccoons. They're vicious. I remember in elementary school, there were these bushes, and me and my friends used to go hang out in them. Once we came out, and one of, like, the on-duty kind of supervisors told us, like, oh my god, you guys gotta watch out. There are raccoons in there, and they can bite a chunk out of your arm like that! <laughs> I was like, oh my god, are you serious? That big? <laughs> it, it kind of freaked me out, but we still went in the bushes. Observed young man peering through school entrance doorway. He identified himself as an exchange student who was trying to retrieve his homework. That's what they all say. He was a pedophile. <laughs> no, I think it was Hal. At approximately 8.30 p.m., I overheard two individuals arguing outside Gazer Gym. When I approached them, two males ran down Rutherford Street. The second male was 15 to 18 years old and wore a football jersey with the numbers 8 or 0 on it. Sounds like some big hulking guy that we know. Caught several students soaping teachers' lounge windows. Students admitted that they were engaged in a senior prank. I instructed the students to clean the windows and to leave campus. The students involved were Daryl Gray, Nathan Gomber, and Yvonne Wong. Heard screams from East Stairwell. After calling 911, found a male teenager who apparently fell from stairs. Attempted to apply first aid. See police report for further details. So, we have all our suspects on the scene on the night of the murder, including the raccoons. They're my prime suspect right now. This looks exactly like the one in Jake's locker. Well, 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 Hank. You think you can plagiarize the queen, Prudence Rutherford, and get away with it? 
No way, sir. Not on Nancy's watch. Trophy was not the only prize, but also money of a greater size. <laughs> he struggled a little with that one. Props, he still pulled it off, Jake. You think they would notice, like, Jake was like, oh, hey, I printed out a new map for, for the teacher's lounge. <laughs> Check it out. You think they'd be like, well, what does it mean on, on the edge? <laughs> what is that? You know, it's just like a... An old saying that you see on old, oldie timey maps, you know, it's a sailor's version of good luck. <laughs> oh, donuts! Let me have a donut! Mm, nice Twin Peaks reference. I can't believe they just leave their donuts out over the weekend. That's <laughs> kind of disgusting. Maybe I don't want a donut after all. Great Enterprises post third law, stock tumbles by Hedda Hooper, not Hedda Hopper. You know, legally distinct. Great Enterprises reported a $500 million second quarter loss Tuesday, but CEO and founder Eugene Gray remained optimistic about a struggling company. Mm, dear, dear, stock has sunk by almost 75% in the past year. That's old Daryl Albino boy's daddy. Oh, dear, dear, dear. Yes, it is. It is ringing. <laughs> Hello? You better stop your nosy nosing, or it'll get bent way out of shape. Nosy nosing! <laughs> oh, that was cute! Let's call him back. Hey, uh, why are you threatening me? What's, what's the deal with that? How may I help you? Hi, this is Nancy Drew. You called me and threatened me? Sound familiar? No, I didn't. I have no idea what you're talking about. Yes, you did. I saw your caller ID number. No, I didn't. <laughs> yes, you did. No, I didn't. Um, I'm sorry, miss, if you're having trouble with your air conditioning. We'll send a technician to find a permanent solution. I'm not talking about air conditioning. I'm talking about you threatening me. I didn't threaten you. I mean, you literally Look, just told me you were going to find a permanent solution for me. If that's not a threat, I don't know what is. Like, is this guy supposed to be, like, a criminal mastermind? Because, <laughs> like, you know why this game is kind of short. If this is the type of criminal Nancy's up against. <laughs> also, I love that you could just call him back and be like, uh, hey, bro. <laughs> I would like a nice extra pop. Please. It's so extra. Mmm. Mm. <laughs> Me and Nancy have so much in common. Okay, I actually want to talk to Connie. Connie, have you finished fixing the gym thing yet? Let's just do a little loop to loop. We can talk to Hal while we're over here. You plagiarized yeah. your senior essay on etiquette, and Jake knew about it. Yes, Nancy. I'm very ashamed. My family will be extremely unhappy about this terrible mistake I have made. Somehow, Jake found out I copied that old essay. Then he blackmailed me into doing his homework. Jake's report. a nosy noser. Why did you copy the essay? I had no other choice. My family won't let me stay in the United States unless I get a scholarship next year. I had to take extra courses to earn the scholarship. Before I realized what I had done, I was buried in work. I copied the essay because I was desperate. But when Jake found out... Jake demanded I do all his homework for the rest of the semester. Or he would tell my family everything. What else could I do? My family was depending on me to succeed. Were you desperate enough to kill him? I was not happy about the situation. But I would never kill anyone. I value human life. Please don't tell anyone about this. I beg anyone you. Anyone could say you'll that. You'll gain nothing if you do, and it would destroy my family if they knew what really happened. I regret what I have done. Please let me have this chance to become a doctor. I promise to make up for this mistake, even if it takes the rest of my life. If you didn't kill Jake, do you have any idea who did? When I delivered Jake's homework to him the other day, he mentioned being late for a meeting with Daryl Gray. It was very strange. I didn't know they were friends. Why would you want to stay in the United States? It's full of murder and drugs and below average coffee. Have you heard of Hulk Sanchez? Heard of him? 
Paul calls the conference right Oh my god, he really is his big fan. <laughs> I was like, oh, Hulk's got such an inflated ego. Might as well call him Mr. Balloon. Um, even with his injury. But wow. Hulk got hurt a few weeks ago. Ever since that game, he hasn't played How the is same. A I worry Hulk. that his chances of playing for a top <laughs> school. I was a slip of the tongue. I didn't even mean to call him Hulk. <laughs> What a hunk. More like a hunk, Sanchez. Am I right? Do you know why Jake had an empty video cassette case in his locker? I didn't know Jake was interested in video. I avoided him whenever I could. Do you know Connie Watson? Yes, we've been in a few classes together. I think she was dating Jake Rogers. Oh, hoo -hoo. I love that you spend most of this game just gossiping with all the characters. It's great. Mmm, delicious, delicious chunky gossip. What can you tell me about Daryl Gray? He's very it's like a good popular, stew. And a good politician, too. Just like his father. Like his daddy? Like his father? I hear he was a great politician, but not a very good businessman. I think his company went bankrupt a few years ago. See you later. There's See no later, such Nancy. thing as a great politician. I'll just tell you now. That's something you need to learn about America. <laughs> Like a bullet from a gun, she arrived on the scene. A young detective who doesn't know the meaning of fear. 